Hey guys, it's Kylie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing with makeup in a totally different way. We are going to be depotting some eyeshadow palettes. This is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I have here the Jaclyn Hill Vault. And we all know these had some issues, okay? Now, when I first started using these, I did not see any issues because I used majority of the light colors and I just didn't have very many problems. Um, and I think because I, I would use brighter shades and then go into the Jaclyn Hill Original Palette for darker shades and, and different ones, so I never had a problem. But as I started using them more and more with the darker shades especially, I had a lot of problems with blending issues. So what I wanted to do for multiple reasons. One, um, I wanted to depot these and put shades in a Z palette. One, because of the issues, I wanted to try to weed out the bad eyeshadows and only put the good ones in a Z palette, toss out the rest of them. The other reason is because I find myself going back and forth between all of these, like I'll use a few shades out of this one, a few shades out of this one for all one look. So I might as well just, you know, line them up, put them in all a Z palette and call it a day. The Z palette that I have is an Ulta Beauty Z palette. I think I purchased this because it was on sale one time, I'm not sure, but I do really like this one because it's got the clear casing. This C palette did come with little magnets. Um, eyeshadows, if you do buy them individually, they do come magnetic, so you can just pop them right in here, but eyeshadows like from these do not, so you have to stick these little magnets on top of them. Doesn't come with a whole lot, so I'm not going to put all of them in a Z palette today. First things first, just open up your palette and you can see the crease, you know, along all the edge. So all I do is take my X-Acto knife and run it along the edge to make sure I break up any of the glue that's right there. Be careful when you're using a knife, guys. It might even be easier with a bigger knife but it definitely is easier if you have it setting down just run your knife along through it that that was much easier and then just peel it up and you got half here half here there's your start the next thing I do is I like to lift this lining up off of there I am going to try to do it in a way that I can salvage the names because I do want to write the names of the eyeshadows on the back of the magnets or on the back of the eyeshadow itself. I guess this step is probably not absolutely necessary, but it does help. You got your cover. If you need to, just write the eyeshadows down on a piece of paper so you can tell. And then I kind of break up the palette just a little bit to help get them a little bit loose and all they are is hot glued on there and be careful of digging your fingers in there too and then you can usually if you break it up enough you can just pop it out if need be that's oops am I breaking one here yeah a little bit a little bit right there that's what happens if it's bent too much so that's where your exacto knife comes back into play and you just stick it in there and work it out. There. I did end up getting a little bit of breakage on the outside of that one, so that does suck. But, I mean, it's, I guess it's not terrible. So then we do have some cardboard still on here. Now you can try to pick it off with your fingers, and it does work. I got a lot of it on, but then again, you have the problem where... Like I was squeezing it just too hard and then it would, some of the eyeshadow would pop out and I, ju I just did that a little bit here. All right, with the rest of them, like these ones are kind of popped out, these ones not so much, so I just stick my X-Acto knife in there. This, just be really careful with the knives. And you just work it out.
on this one again we got a lot of the cardboard which is funny on the last one okay so this one is peeling right off though this one came out really well which is great I'm not gonna label the last one because I did break it but this one is called bling bling so I am going to take my permanent marker and attempt to write on the back of it and there you go that's all I wanted to do just so I can it's not a necessary step I guess um, but for tutorials and for the sake of just knowing I like to have it on the back now when you stick your magnets on you are going to have to also write it on the back of the magnet but since I'm not putting magnets on right away I'm not going to worry about it yet again just carefully going in with the exacto knife and popping it out this one came out perfect which thank God because I love this shade so much attempt to peel off the cardboard this right here is the most time-consuming part getting the darn hot glue and cardboard off there we go and this shade is hush hush I'm going to continue on with the rest since you kind of have an idea of what I'm doing now and if I figure out easier ways to do it along the way I will let you know Okay, real quick, what I did with the last one that I didn't do with this one, I, I just kind of skipped over it, forgot I did it, is if you can see, this has like three tiers to the cardboard. So I did peel off the first half of it. So again, stick my knife under there and then just go down it to break up the glue more. I'm taking off the first, it's, it's kind of two layers here. There we go, that is exactly what I want. And that allows you to stick your X-Acto knife just straight under there so then you don't have to bend the eyeshadows anymore. All right, I'm figuring it out again. All right, another palette down. It's actually quite relaxing to do. I don't know why, I just like to dig into stuff. It's very messy though. Again, we are going to take the X-Acto knife and run it down to break it up. And I should be able to peel it up pretty decently easy. All it is is hot glued, so it's not terribly hard. Oh, actually this one, as I peel up, it's already pulling at the cardboard. So I'll just go with it, I guess. And I'm trying not to bend it too much because that is what breaks the shadows. This one, I was able to pry this layer up pretty darn easy. Ooh, hopefully this one looks like it might be a little easier because we don't have all this crud all the way around it. 
Again, just trying to slide the X-Acto knife along the bottom of the eyeshadow to pop it out. This one's a little harder. I'm going to clean up my hands and my workspace and lay all the shades out how I would envision them being in one big palette. Obviously they're not all going to fit in that onesie palette, but I'm going to figure out what shades I want. So I'm going to lay them all in a row first and then we'll be back. I am missing, I think one shade. Um, don't know where it went, probably accidentally threw it away. This is what I came up with. I just put the shimmers on top and the mattes on the bottom and color coordinated them to the best of my color coordination. All right guys, so I was editing this video and I realized, holy crap, this is really long. So very weird spot to end the video, but I am gonna end it here and it is going to now be a two part video. So this half of the video is basically, I mean, you watch it, it's how to tear apart, how to actually depot the eyeshadows themselves. So if you guys have any, any questions about that process, um, let me know in the comments. It was, for the most part, pretty easy as I um, kept doing it, as I got used to it, I guess. Uh, most important part is don't bend the eyeshadows. The moment you bend the eyeshadows, that's how they're gonna crack. Get as much of the actual cardboard piece off as you can so you can just kinda slip your thing under there and pop it off instead of having to bend it off. And then the hot glue on the back of it, that's very hard to get off. Um, maybe if you can't get it off, you might still be able to stick a magnet on there. I don't know. So again, I know it ended funny for the part one, uh, the whole video. Keep your eyes out for part two on Thursday. That's where I'm going to swatch all the eyeshadows and show you how I pick what eyeshadows are going to go in the Z palette. Yeah, if you have any questions again about the process or comments or suggestions because I am also going to be doing an ABH palette. So if you would like to see that depotting, it's only one palette, not four. If you'd like to see that one, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and we will see you in the next one. Bye.